A few things to consider when looking for the perfect poem. One, you don't have to make incisions to make art. The absence of blood isn't the absence of truth. What you write for yourself is a story. What you write to be accepted is a template. Two, if you make an incision on yourself for art, do not seek healing from the crowd, cause what people give, they will take back. Three, I have never seen a pen make a straight line unaided. There are no steady parts to miracles. The body never recovers linearly. Four, no art is perfect, but all artists create chasing perfection. We only let the work breathe after we've tired out from trying. True art is often born at a moment of settling. What you call beautiful is a thing I gave up on. What you call deep is a thing I couldn't dig up for myself. Five, even I do not know which God I must worship to create my own art, but I know my willingness to lean in waiting. It comes with a desire to fill this emptiness or knowing to empty my fullness into something. Six, I am familiar only with ink spills. All the things I have written, my stories on a brittle paper. Seven, perfection is a myth. Imperfection is the true standard. Eight, the artists we call gods are just people who refuse to create for acceptance. Nine, Art is reflective of society. It's the lie you will tell yourself when you refuse to believe the power of what you've made. 10. God and faith are the closest metaphors I know. 11. The weight of a scream is felt in the collapsing of the gods. Same as the poem. 12. With what do you measure a long night? 13. If we all write dark literature, which one of us will be called bright? 14. I have renounced all the adjectives through which I am being qualified. 15. My father's name is enough. 16. No, they are not getting any payment, but my experiences do quite the job. 17. The artist is the content. The caption is always somewhere in the comments. 18. Ask stupid questions like, what if the sunflower isn't yellow? What if you just go pale from waiting and bearing the wrong name? 19. The perfect poem doesn't exist. That's why this one ends at 19. Shalom alaikum.